Hey, this is Dr. Nick with the next chapter, which is on the cardiac conduction system. This is section three, chapter four of uh, the ECG Academy. And uh, I put these wires up here because uh, after all, there is an electrical system in the heart that controls the rhythm. Most people think in terms of uh, plumbing when they talk about heart disease. Yeah, Uncle Joey had a, a clogged pipe. The doctor had to do rotor rooter Yeah, that's it. But in fact, the electrical system is what controls the rhythm. And since um, the tough part about reading an ECG is um, looking for arrhythmias, that's what we're going to talk about. Well, how do we get from the wires there to uh, this thing with an ECG and the electrical circuits and whatnot? So... That's what we're going to talk about um, in this in this chapter. So let's get rid of the wires and look at our sort of, this is a diagram of the heart. Let me just sort of fill things in a little bit for you. you know, remember, there's the, uh, our right atrium on the top and uh, an atrial septum that separates the two sides and the left atrium, very thin walled sacs on the top of the heart. The left ventricle is much thicker. The septum is the dividing wall between the two chambers of the heart, the two bottom chambers. And the right ventricle is much thinner because it only has to pump to the low pressure circuit um, in the lungs. The muscle of the heart is connected to the fibrous skeleton of the heart. And people, you know, sort of look twice and they say, what do you mean fibrous skeleton? What are you talking about? There are no bones in the heart. Um, well, if we think about the, the muscular system, and uh, let's say here's a diagram of uh, the bone and the leg, the upper leg and the lower leg, and you've got this muscle connected by tendons to the, the lower leg bone. Well, when the muscle contracts like this, the muscle shortens, and that pulls these, uh, this um, tendon, which is attached to the bone, and that, uh, by leverage, uses uh, uh, force to pull the bone up. So in order, in order for the muscle to do some work it has to be attached to something. It has to be attached to the bone. Well, of course, uh, there are no bones in the heart, but there is a fibrous skeleton. And um, the fibrous skeleton actually is uh, uh, surrounds the, the heart and separates the top and bottom chambers. This fibrous skeleton uh, is what the heart valves are connected to. Uh, there's the tricuspid valve on the right side of the heart, which separates the right atrium from the right ventricle. And then there's a mitral valve on the left side of the heart. Remember, the valves open and close to keep the, the blood flowing in the proper direction. And it, they're supposed to keep the blood from flowing backwards. So you've got the right atrium, you've got the right, uh, left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. So where's this electrical system that we've been talking about? Well, um, it all starts in the top of the right atrium. There's a, as a clump of special heart muscle cells that generate electrical signals. They, uh, these cells generate action potentials on a regular basis. They, they fire. They generate a little tiny electrical signal that is what initiates each normal heartbeat. Uh, this structure is known as the sinoatrial node. Um, or some people just call it the sinus node. And the sinus node sets the pace of the heartbeat. So we refer to it as the natural pacemaker of the heart. Uh, the sinus node sends out electrical signals, and these signals spread rapidly across the top chambers of the heart. And that's what gets the top chambers to um, contract this electrical signal that spreads from cell to cell across the top chambers and that gets the atria to contract. Now the signal has to get to the bottom chamber somehow and there turns out to be an electrical connection in the middle part of the septum, uh, the atrial septum. And we refer to this clump of cells, a special structure in the heart, as the atrioventricular node or AV node. Now, the AV node is, a, again, the collection of specialized cells that um, can generate electrical signals, but these cells sort of receive this signal from the atria, and they delay it for a split second, and then the AV nodal cells are connected to a network of very long heart muscle cells. They're almost, they're branching cells, like branches of a tree. And uh, these um, Long cells are known as Purkinje fibers. That's P-U-R-K-I-N-J-E. Purkinje fibers. 
and they're bundled together in the in the septum um, with a thin bundle that kind of goes off to the right side and we call this a bundle branch since it's on the right side it's the right bundle branch and there's a much thin thicker bundle of uh, Purkinje fibers that then splits into several different uh, major branches and then minor branches and these very long branching specialized electrical cells basically conduct the electrical signal all through the, the bottom chamber. Um, now this very large branch of, uh, of Purkinje fibers that are bundled together is known as the left bundle branch. And this is the right bundle branch. And in the center of the heart, way up here where those two bundle branches come together, this is known as the main bundle of his. Now, women do not have a bundle of hers. Um, it's uh, just the bundle of his, named after the doctor who described it. So, so here you have the electrical system of the heart with the sinoatrial node, or otherwise known as the sinus node, and it has nothing to do with the sinuses in your head. It has to do with the embryology of the heart and, and how this whole part of the heart uh, formed in, in the uterus. So you've got the sinus node that generates electrical signals, these signals travel across the uh, atria to the AV node where the signal gets uh, delayed for a second and then passes down to the main bundle of His, the bundle branches, and then finally the Purkinje fibers out to the, um, to the ventricular myocardium or heart muscles. In the next video, we're going to see how this all works together to generate the electrocardiogram.